John 15 verses 7, it says, If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be given to you. This is my Father's glory and you bear much fruit, showing yourself to my disciples. Listen, <laughs> you know, it says, as long as you remain in me and I remain in you, ask for whatever you wish and it will be given to you. I was like, wait a minute, hold up here. Wait, wait, wait a minute here. Wait, you, you can't just say that to us. You can't just tell your children that, Lord. Ask for whatever. Excuse me, you know. So here's this quick story, all right? So tell me how, this is cute. So tell me how um, I was watching a video, right, on social media. And as I scroll, um, as I was scrolling, I saw this video of, um, this person she had some watermelons right and she sprinkled something on the watermelon and i remember thinking what is that when do we start sprinkling things on our fruits okay <laughs> and so so i i was like i was curious it, i was really curious i was like i wonder what that was so anyways i scroll up forgot about the video the next day all right so the next day i got to a place the place was closed i actually did a video on that and that um so and so because the place was closed i had so much free time right so i decided i'm gonna go to this store right and it's a store that i haven't been in a while so as i'm walking the aisles i'm telling you it's like the pure one commercial find what speaks to you as i'm walking the aisles i'm telling you this particular seasoning is standing out to me okay if you've been watching me for a while words will start to stand out to me and certain things will start to stand out to me but um, this day, the seasoning was standing out to me and I'm like, why are you standing out to me? Why are you looking at me? So it was, it was so profound guys. And so, you know what I did? I actually pulled up the video that I had watched the day before just to see if, did she put a picture of it? Did she mention what it, the name of it and everything, right? Tell me how in the video she said the name was Tyin, right? And... I was like, huh? So when I look at the seasoning on the shelf, I was like, could this be it? I still wasn't convinced. So I Googled, I Googled seasoning that you put on watermelon. And lo and behold, the seasoning that was standing out to me, the season that was basically looking at me, it was it. Tie in, right? O-M-G. Okay, so you're like, okay, Nadisha, that's not a big deal. Oh, that is a big deal, okay, because I was curious, okay, I wanted to know, okay, but, I, you know, it's not something that I prayed for, I didn't ask God, I didn't go on my knees, I didn't fast for it, okay, it was just a thought, okay, the point of, the, the point of that example is that your thoughts are becoming things, all right, God says, I am, I am the vine, you're the branch, okay, if you remain in me and I in you, ask for whatever and it shall be given to you okay i'm telling you in this season your promise the spoken words the things that god has spoken to you over the years that's already done don't even worry about that the reason why it's not in your hands or you're not touching it or holding it is because it's not time but you don't have to worry about god's spoken promise to you what you want to start doing now is start asking for other things okay start asking for some new things now i don't know what's going on but because you've waited so long god is just open up the opening up the floodgates of heaven and he asks for whatever i'm telling you so that was just one example and like i said i watched the video one day and then the next day it happened okay and a lot of these little little baby things baby important fun things are happening like the next day the same thing <clears throat> another thing happened to me um <clears throat> i was thinking about this individual right and i was like okay you know the last time i saw her she wasn't doing so well you know physically and and I was like, I hope she was, I hope she's fine. I'm driving and I'm, I just, I just said that, you know, I was thinking about her, whatever. Tell me how I got to a stop. I, I parked, I parked somewhere and I had an appointment. I called my appointment. They're like, come on in. I decided to stay just a few minutes in my car. Tell me how this vehicle just like came, came around, um, in front of me, but far enough where I couldn't like say hi or anything, 
but close enough that I can make out who this individual was, right? Tell me how it was the same person I thought about. This all happened within 20 minutes, 15 minutes, okay, 20 minutes max. Those are the things that I'm talking about. Like you can have a thought, you're thinking about something, you're thinking about someone, and then they just pull up, okay? Or they or or the things just start showing up in your reality. <clears throat> okay, you know, so I'm just gonna tell you be careful of the things you think about. Make sure it's all positive and all good. But the point is, God is granting some things, okay? He's granting some things to people at this hour. So I encourage you to ask. God says, ask and it shall be given. Seek you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened. You have not because you ask not, okay? So as God says, as you remain in me and I in you, ask for whatever and it shall be given to you, okay? This is a dangerous verse because I'm like whatever though <laughs> so yes okay so i'm encouraging you guys to just make a list of things that are important to you and this could this doesn't always have to be material things this could be healing this could be something for someone else this could be um whatever it is if you want an upgrade in something or whatever it is um god is doing some things he's doing some things in this hour and like i said you don't have to ask for that which is yours the, the the blessing the promises that he has spoken to you because it's already in motion you know what i mean just start asking for some new things okay start just asking and the cool thing about this this um this scripture okay it says um i am the vine you are the branches if a man remains in me and i in him i, I in him he will bear much fruit apart from me you can do nothing Okay, if anyone does not remain in me, he's like a branch that is thrown away in the fire. Okay, um, so this is how fun this is. God is the vine, you are the branches. Okay, um, so if you know anything, the branch is attached to the vine, right? So you're not going to ask for anything crazy because you're attached to a deity. You're attached to God who is pure, right? So I'm like, hold up, this is a whole setup. So you're saying we should we can act for anything and it will be granted to us. But the cool thing is God is not worried about the things that you're going to ask for because you are attached to him. OK, so you're never going to ask for anything that's ridiculous or ungodly because you're attached to God. Does that make sense? So ideally, whatever it is that you ask for, essentially, for the most part, he he's OK with giving it to you because it's pure okay for the most part you know i don't know i don't know what you guys are into <laughs> i don't know what you guys are into but for the most part it will be pure it will be um godly because it is you are attached to god okay um but yeah so listen um please ask ask god for things ask him he wants to do it for you he wants to give it to you he wants he wants you to have it, you know? And he's like, hey, listen, I'm the creator of the universe. Why are you not asking me? Why are you not, why are you not asking me for, for stuff? Why? For healing, for deliverance, for, for whatever, whatever it is, whatever your desires of your heart is, ask God because he wants to do it for you, all right? All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This is Nadisha coming to you today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. All right, guys. Hey, listen. <laughs> Let me know if you try the tie-in on your watermelon. And I'm telling you, listen. Let me tell you something right now. <clears throat> if you start using this, you are going to be hooked. Okay? Um don't say i didn't warn you okay because i am constantly going back to the grocery store for more watermelons just so i can sprinkle this on it okay i'm telling you it's a game changer it has changed the game all right let me know if you try this put it in the comments all right guys take care